Hey everybody. So the swinging pendulum, there was a little bit of a question. Some people um, were getting the file and they were asking what they should be animating and um, I wanted to clear it up to make sure everybody was on the same page. Please do not touch or animate the black box. The black box is on a path animation. You can't change that. I don't want you to. I want you to animate to that. What I want you to animate are the red segments, okay? But if you look into the structure of the red segments, up in there, there's actually a parent constraint. There's a constraint object that if you mess with that or touch it, um, it will uh, break everything. So please don't do that. But um, what you're looking to animate are the cylinders. So these are your cylinders right here. You can select them there or you can select them there. Okay, and all you're going to do, just kind of like I said, is, and if you wanted to, you could uh, just safeguard your file. Uh, you could figure out what axis you're going to be rotating on, which in this case, as you can see, is the Z axis. Okay, so we can pretty much hide everything but the Z axis. So I can do a lock and hide on all of that, and we can do a lock and hide on all that, and that leaves you just with the Z axis. Okay. So with all of these selected, you could start here and just say key selected. Try not to get in the habit of hitting S. I want you kind of away from that habit. And as it starts to pull away, what you'll find is you'll be able to rotate this um, as a group, at least initially. So we start to get that and you can see where the tail starts to pull away a little bit. Maybe here at 14, it pulls up a little bit more something like that so it just starts to give and these are just your initial keys so maybe as we're moving like this 17 you may even find that you want this tail to sort of come up a little bit like that and you can just start it like that by the time it starts to get to the other side over here over here you're probably going to have it slow down a little bit so slowing down would be a little bit less of this, maybe a little bit less of this, something like that. I would probably key all of this just a little bit, it's starting to slow out. So we're starting to get that. Then as it starts to get up into the top here, like this, maybe you're doing something like this. So you see you're pulling like that. And as it starts to go up more further, you're going to do something maybe like that. So you kind of, as we let go, it starts to pull. And these keys may not be right, so don't quote me on this. This is about your performance, not mine. So maybe I'll do something like that. Like this drags, and then it pulls, and it'll pull in the opposite direction, you see? So what we're doing is we just sort of allow it to get a kind of a breaking of joints. And when you start opening up your um, curve editor and separating these, you'll get a lot more out of that. But so we get sort of this sort of a thing and it starts to pull back the other direction. Alrighty. So that's basically all you're looking to do this and then just ride it all the way down to the very end. Alrighty. That's animating a swinging pendulum. Hope that helped.